Yeah. Clap, 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 clap. Thank you for having me. No, no, it's a, it's a real pleasure indeed. And thanks for joining us and thanks for taking the time out of your schedule. So, Kyla, do you want to welcome Vanessa and ask the first question? Okay. When you were my age, what was your childhood dream? My childhood dream? I actually, from a younger age, I actually wanted to be an actress. So I feel like from a younger age, if you have a dream and you work hard, you can get to that place. So like, don't, don't feel like it's so far away from you. Like it's, it's, if you have that thought, if you want to do something, you can do it. You really can. Nothing can stop you. Nice. So from a younger age, we, um, I already had the idea that I wanted to just tell stories and um, take on characters and, and do fighting and everything. So I'm glad that um, I followed through with that. All right. Now, t I mean, you, you're, done, you're doing really, really well in the Kung Fu TV series. And this is why, this, like, like she said, this is why this little one is here. But did you have any obstacles when you were from a younger age to wanting to be an actress? Because some people, they're a bit... Not so negative, they were just playing safe, like, oh, that's a really tough industry to be in. It's really hard to feed your rice bowl. So did you have any obstacles? Absolutely. I feel like um, <laughs> I've had a lot of obstacles. And um, especially with acting, um, I feel like it's something where you don't have the power to choose. So oftentimes, let's say um, you're auditioning or whatever, you really want something. But at the end of the day, it's not your decision whether or not you are the best fitted for that role. So I feel like as you go on and the obstacles, you know, get bigger or whatever, you just learn that, you know, nothing's personal. When you don't get the things you want, people are not are not taking it away from you to hurt you or anything. It's just there are other factors involved. And all you can do is just continue to go, continue going on. And that that opportunity just simply wasn't yours, but there's so many better ones waiting for you and you just have to keep on going to get to them. So don't give up when you're on the way because the best one is, is it might be just one step away, but you just have to continue going and you'll get there. Tell us about your, thank you. Thanks for that. That's, that's super, super inspirational, okay. very positive. But tell us about who were your biggest supporters in, uh, along the journey because, you know, it's never really just one person, is it? No, um, I feel like it's definitely my parents are for one. Um, if, I feel like if my parents didn't believe in me and um, they kept on pushing me forward, I would have given up a long time ago. So I really appreciate you know my family for just being there. And when I'm I'm down and everything, they're you know they're there and they they give me tough love. <laughs> you know they're they're Asian. They're not like tough oh love, like everything's okay. Like, yeah, and it's it, it makes us more driven. You know we want it so bad. And we're never satisfied. We always want to do better and better and better. So it's, it's great. Tough love is, you know, it works because we're always like, no, we need to do more. We need to do more. Mm -hmm. um, but apart from that, I also feel like friends um, are also great. Um, you know, whenever you need people to talk with, um, it's always about quality over quantity uh, in, in the amount of friends you have. As long as you have one that you can actually talk to and, you know, be there for you, that's all you really need. So there's many people I would like to thank in my life. But um yeah, I, I'm very blessed in that way. I really, really am grateful. Great, great. Look, I've got to stop us right here because I think this one is a little bit starstruck that she's seeing Mia <laughs> and she's interviewing Mia. Are you feeling a bit nervous? Yeah. Why? She's so friendly. It's cool. It's cool? Yeah. Okay, I, look, I don't want to dominate the conversation, okay, because this is a tag team approach. Okay, you're my co-host. So what, you know, do you, what, what kind of questions do you want to ask? Vanessa. Not, she's not Mia, yeah? This is Vanessa, the real person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, you, do you want to ask, uh, you know, the question about the Beijing Academy, Film Academy? Okay. Question Yep. Tell yeah. us about <laughs> the Beijing Academy, Film Academy, and your career in China. Okay, so Beijing Film Academy is um, this film school in China. And um, it's like one of like the, the bigger film schools in the world. Right. And um, since I've got a Chinese background, I also, I thought that, you know, this could be a good opportunity for me to kind of like reconnect with my roots as well, since I'm, I'm Canadian. But, um, you know, I, 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 in, in Canada or in the US, there's not that many, you know, places where you can figure out like where you're actually from. So 
I thought that, you know, maybe why don't I give myself a chance to just perhaps go there and see where that'll take me. So I ended up auditioning for Beijingville Academy and um, we were a lot of people. And in the end of the day, they only picked 50 of us to start wow. the bachelor degree. And yeah, so they picked That's me tough. and then I flew over. Yeah, it was really tough. Um, I, I just tried not to let the numbers scare me or whatever. You know, if, if I don't, if I don't take that chance, I'll never know. Right. You always miss the shots you never take. So, um, I just went for it. And then, um, that really helped my career because, um, in, in China, at least they know that, okay, well, if you're going to the school, you're going through the training, like, you know what you're doing. It's not, you're not just no, like coming from thin air. So I feel like going to that school really did skyrocket my career in Asia. And then um, after that, I auditioned for Kung Fu in Beijing, and they flew me in. Nice, <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, well, we've got, we've, I'm gonna leave all the Kung Fu questions to Kyla, who's just super starstruck okay. at the moment. I think her, <laughs> like, she's like, "Wow, you can't believe it." Can you relax? Okay. okay? And <laughs> just yeah, like uh, was this? Let's talk about the Mandarin language. Many people <laughs> say Mandarin and Russian the two hardest languages in the world to master. Now, you grew up as a Canadian, you're right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so tell us about the Mandarin language in your life first, and then how did you, I presume you speak in English, I mean, you think in English, and then how did mm -hmm. that manifest to really playing a, a talent from China? Because that's hard. That's really, really mm -hmm. difficult when you're, when, Mandarin is not your first language. All I know is Tuipuchi, Woman Ha, Wuputsuta, and all the, the basic Western <laughs> Mandarin phrases. Kyla's learning. What do you know in Mandarin at school? Han. Han? Yeah. How do you say man? hand is? Show. Show. Okay, so nice, she knows show. Nice. I know, I know. Tuipuchi <laughs> and Woman Ha and all the above. So tell us about that. The, the Mandarin aspect of being a talent in China and how that. How, how difficult that was and how long did it take you and how how long did it take you to grow your confidence all of the above mm -hmm. so for mandarin um my like before going to china um the only people i did get the opportunity to speak chinese with was were my parents and um from a younger age they were you know they were pretty strict about it they're like oh you can only speak in like chinese to us you can't speak in english and i'm so thankful for that because that it, it kept me speaking that language the whole time because in Canada, like you won't, you know, you don't really have the chance to like speak in your mother tongue to everyone, right? It would be more English or French. Mm -hmm. um, however, my Chinese was definitely not good enough to, you know, just be thrown yes. there and like, yes. Yes. oh, a tough one. I can survive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, I, I do feel like to learn a new language, it is, it's just very important just to be in that environment and just to hear it all the time. So you kind of just force yourself to really like adapt as fast as you as fast as you can because you have to right um and i mean it took a while i do feel like chinese is quite hard to learn especially writing it yeah writing is hard Super and re tough. reading is not easy either <laughs> yeah um but I, I there was actually an obstacle that i went through that i didn't think um i would need to so um when i was acting in chinese um my emotions weren't connected to the language right. so i didn't know that that could be possible um, and when I did my first feature film over there, um, I would say my lines in Chinese and the director would be like, you know, it's, it's disconnected. Like, actually, like, why don't you try saying this line in English? Let me see how it feels. And I did that. And he's like, wow, it's, it's connected. So, um, and I don't know if there's any other actors out there or, pe or people who, um, haven't thought of that before, but, um, if let's say your first language is not whatever language you're acting in, it's possible that you're disconnected. And how to fix that is just simply to, when you get the script, you just um, kind of translate it into your mother tongue and you just say it to yourself so you can feel connected and then you go back to that language and then it should fix the problem. So right, right. Um, that's what I learned. And, nice. um, well, it, it was, yeah. yeah I, I, we've heard you speak Mandarin on the show and wow, it sounds, <laughs> it sounds very, very convincing because Thank one thing that we know about Mandarin is that, you know, you, there's a way to pronounce and you pronounce it mm -hmm. according to the province. Certain people in China, if they stay in the, in the Wuhan province, they would pronounce it differently compared to Shanghai right, right. or Beijing. Cor correct? Yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, they all speak differently. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that makes life a bit more difficult. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. now, 
Kyla is just going to about to burst out of her shell because she's got 20,000 questions to ask you about the show. So, Kyla, uh, shoot. You play Mia, a tough runaway character. Tell us about her and how different or similar is she to you. Um, so when I got um, the audition for Mia, um, I thought it was great because there was depth. I could tell that there was so much depth. And depth comes from the person's experience, whether it's good or bad. So um, when I got me, uh, the offer, uh, offer to audition for Mia, I knew that you know she had she had, she had gone through so much things, and I love characters like that because um, I feel like in real life as well. Like I like to find justice for everyone. I want everyone to, you know, if they have a purpose, like I want them to, to get to that. So when I read read for Mia, like I could feel her purpose. It was so strong. You know, she ran away from home, and when she did, my mom died. Like that's so much. That's so much to carry. You know, it, it, there's guilt. There's there's you know it, it's just. She had to learn a lesson in the most hardest way possible. That when she wanted to do something for herself, it ended up, you know, her her most beloved family member died. Um, and so for Mia, she's very strong while she's, you know, very emotional, very raw at the same time. And um, I feel like that's completely me in real life as well. Right. Um, right. I've learned to, yeah, I've learned to just be as strong as possible. Um, but at the same time, you know, very honest and, you know, I, I want what I want. And, um, I'm not, I'm not as strong as Mia though. I'll say that. And uh, she's much more impulsive too, but, um, there are definitely, um, uh, things that align and we're very similar in many ways. Yeah. She's, well, she's very, very bad. Very, sorry, Kyla. I'm going to say this bad word. She's very badass. <laughs> she's tough. She, she don't take yeah. no, you know what, you know? So yeah, Kyla, any, any other things that you want to know about? Olivia Liang, a.k.a. Nikki, the star of the show, you kicked her in the face a few times. <laughs> Tell us about that. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, I mean, um, yeah, uh, it, it, it was, I, I don't agree with, you know, meeting someone for the first time and just, you know, just, just like trying to like punch them and like get them down. But, um, you know, for her, it's just that she felt like she was in danger, right? And um, she needed answers. So if there's someone stopping her, she, I don't think she really connects um, who that person is or what they want to not hurting them. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. But um, on another note, though, like, I, I would love to thank the stunt team and the action team for yep. you know, all the work we've put in because all the fun could not be there and could not look the way they are without the stunt team and the action team. So they're they're really really fantastic. Like honestly, no, yeah, no, they do an extremely good job. I mean, it looks really authentic, especially with all the superhero. I mean, I know I'm using the wrong term here, but the superhero, you know, when the 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 green the, the green stuff that comes out and uh, you know the, the graphics and the the flying and the martial arts, pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? Which part? Which which is your favorite scene of of Vanessa? She was looking at the red gem. Yes. Do you have any questions about? Oh, the <laughs> do you have a, I know this is not part of our Q and A, but do you have any questions about the red gem? Spoiler alert, everybody. Okay. Yes, I do. Yeah. Go shoot. Was it actually glowing? So, um, at, uh, I'm so sorry to say this, but no, it wasn't glowing the whole time. But. Um, <laughs> Um, so most of it was done like CGI. So afterwards, um, but if let's say the, the, there was something that had to glow into my face, there would just be like a light that would turn on to do that. So unfortunately the jewel itself didn't really glow. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. It, it was just, yeah, it was just, it was just, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at, look at Kyla. She's like, Oh, that's how it works. She's all, she's always asking me questions after the show. Dada, why did Vanessa do this? Dada, why is Nikki this? Dada, why is she such a stubborn, you know, person? Da, da, da. I said, well, she's just a, she said, you're a very talented actress. You play your part, you know? And we, well, Kyla and I were quite lucky. Well, myself more was to interview Yvonne Chapman uh, last year 
you know, when we first started out. And then you you should have seen mm-hmm. this one. She was shell shocked when she called. <laughs> she said, "What was the first thing you said when you saw Jilan?" You forgot. Yeah. Yeah. You were not. You know why you forgot? You were like this. <laughs> that's that's how she was. You believe that? Oh. That. And <laughs> so you know, Yvonne weird. was so sweet and so nice. And you know, it it looks like you. I mean, photos can be deceiving, but I'm just gonna be a bit. I'm gonna be superficially positive in this and, and judge you positively but it looks like everybody just gets along really really well like a, I forgive the cliche saying like a family it's i know it's absolutely true and i was honestly shocked as well because um for example um when like olivia or the rest of the the shen kids whenever you know they're offset they would um call like the mom and dad in the show like mama and papa like off well. so <laughs> it's like they never really yeah so they never really you know came out of that and they've always they really re- like act like a family which is just it's so nice to see that like it's not for show it's not for anything else it's, it's what they it's what they're actually doing and you know they you see that even offset so yeah like it's 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 unbelievable like how well they get along and like how much of the family they actually feel like and they're not just doing that just to just just because it's a job or whatever but they actually really love each other and really watch out for each other right right look um vanessa it's a great conversation i mean uh, one thing about great people tv we like to get everybody here and i mean our viewers i think they put their kids to bed here in southeast asia and in asia for for that matter and we really i know it's quite, quite early over there in montreal and Really take the time out, uh, the time that you take to be with us. Very, very friendly. Um, you know, we're just waiting for a few questions from some people. And Visa, who's an avid fan of Kung Fu, I think you guys know that. She's always yeah. following, leaving comments with you guys yeah. on Twitter and social media. She's just yeah. buzzing at the moment. She did say she'd come in and join us and ask some questions. So, Visa, are you there? Because I'm trying to save some questions for you. So, while, F- while we try to find Visa, you got any more questions, Vanessa? Come on, we don't get Vanessa yeah. Vanessa every day, you know. Final question. No, 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 not the final question yet. We still got some time. Yes. So, you know, do you have any questions in your mind based <laughs> on what Vanessa has said tonight? No. Really? No. Is there is there anything else that you want to ask? Okay, Fiza is here. Okay. The st- sorry, I'm looking at a different screen, so the stunt, uh, hi from Malaysia, Vanessa. Yeah. Can you just say hi, Fiza? Um, Vanessa? Hi, Fiza. Hi. Okay. Hi. I can't see her though, but. Yeah, gosh, I'm here. The stunts are mind blowingly, gracefully, and awesome. Yes, it is. Really, really cool. And like Vanessa was saying, full credit to your stunt team and your CGI team and just your creative team for doing an amazing job. So, Fiza. Thanks for the compliments, but my dear, do you have Swalanta? Do you have any questions for Vanessa? Because uh, we won't have her for too much longer. Because she's got a big day ahead of her. I'm gonna ask you this though, um, Vanessa. Do you sleep much? Yes. Be- because every time I send do you I a sleep message, much? Not you enough. respond quickly. <laughs> Which is great. No complaints. I know. I should sleep more. Yeah, I know, I know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm a tank. I can do this. <sighs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, okay. Fiza, I think, is <laughs> as starstruck as Kyla. So, all right. Well, look, we, uh, we, we wish, look, before we ask the final question, we wish you all the very best for Kung Fu. We hope that it continues forever. Don't you want to continue forever? Yeah. Yeah. And what else would you like to see in Kung Fu? Oh. Kicking the bad guy. <laughs> yes, yes, Ooh, Mia. Okay. Yeah, okay. Once you came because <laughs> M- 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 Mia at the moment is uh, offensive at the moment. Sometimes she's a bad guy. Sometimes she's a good guy. So a good, good person. So yeah, hold on. Uh, I haven't caught up to the episode nine. Okay, uh, Fiza is asking. Okay, Catherine Tang is joining us. Uh, what's this? Hi, Catherine. Nice to see you. Uh, she hasn't caught up with episode 9 as yet. Okay, so that's full disclaimer. Well done for being honest. May I ask what's next for Mia without any spoilers? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Usually you try to probe the spoilers, but 
it is what it is. Maybe she, maybe she read the legal contract of uh, the movies or something. <laughs> Apologies for the technical difficulty. Sorry, Vanessa, can you just repeat that? We just, you're just a bit frozen at the moment. Okay, can we get now? We Just uh, Vanessa, can you just log in, log out again, and then just log back in? If you if you're getting us, yeah, that's it. Sorry, everybody, this does happen when we sometimes. So there's okay. There we go. Hi, sorry, Vanessa. Yeah. Just you you, can you hear yeah. us? Um, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Do I have to repeat that? That the answer? Yeah. Again? Could you just or, repeat that uh, that part again? Just ask us answering uh, Fiza's question. Okay. Oh, oh wait. What? Sorry. What was Fiza's question? Okay. It's basically she's full disclaimer that she's only up to episode nine. But can you give us some teasers and some spoilers? I'm sorry, can you give us some teasers of what happens next to Mia without giving out any spoilers? That's a very interesting question. Uh, I would just say that she's in the process of changing and um, there's going to be a lot of fighting. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> Right, right. Um, a lot of fighting there. So at least the Kung Fu never stops. <laughs> okay, so everybody is. No, yeah, the there's, there's a lot. Say that again. Yeah. There's there's a lot coming. Okay. A lot. Cool. A lot. Okay. Well, the Fizas, the Kylas, yeah. and the Bens, and the Catherines of this world will be watching from here. So, okay. Look, it's been a wonderful conversation. Even though this one made her hosting debut and did a pretty good job, she did all right, didn't she? Yeah, she did great. Thank you so much for interviewing me, Kyla. You did really, really well. I'm really proud of you. You need to chase your dreams because you can do it. You can do anything you want. You really All can. Right. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to ask the final question? Yes. Okay. Final question. What's your advice to all people like me who want to make their career dreams come true, not necessarily acting? Well, I, I first thing I want to say is I believe in you guys. Um, and if you can dream it, you can do it. So don't ever stop. Don't ever stop. Please don't ever stop. You know, you really, you can do whatever you want to do. No one can stop you. As long as you know and decide that this is what I want, no one can stop you. It's just like Mia, right? If she wants something, she's going to go get it. So I can't wait to see the new generation flourish because nothing can stop you really. As, as long as you know that, you can do it. Right. Cool. I just have one final question. Sorry. Because this just came to my mind. See, this is what hosting is all worry. about. Thinking on your feet. Okay. Look, you're doing really well in Kung Fu. You've established great relationships in China. Anything else? Other projects that you can tease us about? I know you guys are heavily, your PR teams and your legal teams are saying, don't announce things until, you know, you should be. But come on, just something. <laughs> uh, well, since it won't, there will be much more coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. All right, no, no, I don't want you to get in <laughs> yeah. trouble with the lawyers. I would hate to make your legal team or PR team mad. So, look, um, Vanessa, wonderful, wonderful discussion. You know, kept it short, sweet, and very inspirational, and very camerogenic. We wish you all the best with Kung Fu. I mean, life on Kung Fu and life, I mean, your other endeavors to chase more roles because you're super young, super talented. And, you know, multi, you can speak many languages, so you're, you're very much in the right place. Anything else you want to say to Vanessa before we go? No. Uh, can you just give the camera a big smile? You should do that. Yeah. Say, thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa. Look, Vanessa, thanks very much. Thank Anytime you, you want to shout out, any, need any publicity help, <laughs> just let us know. And we'll happily help thank have you. you back on Great People TV. Yeah? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. All right. Bye. Good night. Take care. Bye.
Bye.